supposed to conduct it? Absolutely. Can and you can you talk? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> can can she ask you anything? Uh, where are we going to be when she asks us? <laughs> well, oh, actually, what are we going to do? Now, I want you to know that they are going to print your interview in the magazine, and you're going to do it live during the show today over on one of our other stages, and we're going to check in with you to see how it's going. Is that okay with you, Peter? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all right with you, Melissa? Yeah. Just give us a warning when you're checking in with us, all right? Oh, in case you're talking about private oh, no. stuff. All right. Right. Okay, you guys head back off here. Get started on your interview. We're going to have the cameras on you. Good luck. what was in store for us. Totally surprised. <laughs> this was memory book, scrapbook material, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Here's the tape of how it went behind the scenes of Days. We're just going to kind of, um, like, show you around over here. Uh, okay. and then, Help. And just, um, How you guys doing? Yvonne! Hi, Yvonne! Yvonne! Oh, 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 you are. Do you mind finding? Uh, do you mind? Do you mind? You're so nice, Brenda. Don't tell anyone you found us. Okay, we won't. Okay, we won't. Okay, guys, guys, thanks. Sorry. We'll try to keep control better. I can't believe we're actually on the set. Oh my gosh, this is it, isn't it? Yeah, it's such an odd day, you know. You guys need a tour guide? Why did they? Oh my God. <laughs> You guys are warm now, right? Austin. Austin. I just can't believe it. Oh, my God. I don't have a cancer cheek. Please. Oh, God. Oh, God. And you know what, you guys? This is from which one? Nicole or Angel? Who wanted him? Oh, Angel. Angel, Angel wanted him. Angel wants you. Oh, that's from Angel. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys got me speechless. Okay? <laughs> She loves me? Yes, yeah. she loves really? you. Really? Can we hire somebody at the Arcana? Thanks, Angel. Okay. Sorry I missed you today. Okay. All right, oh, give you a kiss good. back. And this one is oh. for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're going to kiss my cheek. Oh, I am? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ready? I can't believe oh. this is happening. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. I'll never get over this. Never. Oh, yes, you will. No. You'll stop hyperventilating. No, I won't. No, I won't. <laughs> You're the luckiest people in North Carolina. You're America. lucky. I get you kissed all over. They are oh, such yeah. nice yeah. people. I can't believe they just go down to earth. <laughs> oh, I oh, oh, I'm, I'm never going to forget this. Never. You guys. never. I'm, I'm not going to sleep ever never. again. Ever again. <laughs> Jennifer Schmitz and everybody at NBC Publicity for helping us as you always do. I want to go backstage because remember Lisa is getting that makeover right now to look like Carrie. And oops, there goes the hair. That's the first layer. See, it's coming right along. And don't forget, we're going to have the real Carrie to come on out and surprise her later on in the show. Christy's going to come out and do the finishing touches. But next up, this so punk will pose as one of our stage managers. Now, look at him here. He's giving me cue cards so he can help me in the next scene. Does anybody have any clue who it is? Yeah! You look so ridiculous, I can't tell you. Don't speak, because they'll get a clue. We're going to give you some time to guess it and see if we can surprise another big soap fan right after this. I'll, a little hint, he was named Outstanding Younger Actor at the Soap Awards this year. Now you know. We'll be right back. shows, especially when we're able to make fantasies come true for fans, and that's what we're doing today. In fact, Melissa is interviewing Peter Reckle, Bo, of course, from Days of Our Lives, backstage. This is really going to be in Soap Opera Update magazine. Can, can you hear me back there, you guys? Yeah. yeah. 
How's it going? Peter, how's she doing? <laughs> she's she's running the show here. I thought I was good at this. But she's got really? a handle on it, yeah. So but I heard she... some things about uh, when she called in. Oh, they, uh... <laughs> How are you going to do this to me? <laughs> they asked her if she was single. <laughs> and but, I said But yes. she said... No, I said no. <laughs> she, no, she was going to get in I'm trouble if she said that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I, I can be. But can so you you're be not, single? So you're not even available, is that right? No, I'm not available. <laughs> oh. oh. But well. you guys, come on, isn't that good? Because don't we want him for everybody anyway? Ooh. Isn't that the idea? <laughs> For everybody. I know you're going to do a great job. Peter, this is really great. Thanks so much. We'll read the dish in the magazine. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Okay. <laughs> Out here on the stage, I want you to meet Kia and Lauren. Hi, ladies. Hi. These are big time YNR fans. Now, yeah. you got to give it up. Who are you hot for? Nick. Nick. <laughs> what does he do for you? Oh. oh, my God, he's wonderful. He's, he's so passionate. He's so great. He's a good man, too. Yes, oh, and, he, and by the way, man. he's a good he's man. A he's a good man. man. <laughs> and he's beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. Yeah, Definitely. it's like a lot of people are really hot for him. I'll take two of those. Oh, you'll yeah. take two. Well, you guys, all. yeah, you'll each, you'll need, you'll need him to clone himself, so, right, absolutely. for both of you. Absolutely. Excuse me just a second. If, what, I'm trying to take my cues here. What the heck does this mean? Oh, yeah, well, this says, uh... Ah! stopping your feet about <laughs> Josh Morrow right there <laughs> no yes how can they not recognize him Josh our disguise didn't even work oh. we spent forever in makeup disguising him We should have done something to your oh, lips, Josh. Well, we could have taken them off, but uh, the show wouldn't have liked that. Mm -hmm. I think you're probably happy right where you are, oh, so I'm going to let you snuggle up thanks. for a second while we come out here to introduce you to two more soap fans. Stand up, girls. Oh All right, this is Tanisha and Kenya. And you are very hot for one fine looking man. Now, I got to tell you, we sort of set the two of you up, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> we put them in a situation where they had no clue that they were actually going to meet Mr. Shamar. I'm so fine. No. I'm so fine. I'm so fine. I'm going to have a one. Hi. 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 Yeah, what can I do for you? We're trying to find a nice, pretty flower. Three flowers. Pretty I do have a nice, fresh yeah. roses. Yes, okay. And a nice flower we got this morning. I like that one. Is the orange is pretty too. Which one? The orange. Yeah, I like this. Red I got one. one. Yeah, they red. didn't have any roses. Excuse me, they didn't have any roses, but I thought you might um, <laughs> take me instead. <laughs> I knew they were going to do this. I you think, you I think you I could take the place? Hi. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. This doesn't mean you're not How you doing, darling? Give me some sugar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, now who do I got? Say Ken? Happy <laughs> What's wrong, baby? I want a picture with What's you. What's wrong? I want your autograph. What's my sister Miriam. This is Shamar Moore. Miriam. Hi, Miriam. This is Ed. This is this is Sam. This is Sam. I have something for you. Hold on. This. I just figured we had to. This is us. I told you he's always giving people stuff. This I told is you the this. boys from Young and Restless. Okay. And inside we have. This is for Tanisha. And that's your, this is you, right, Tanisha? And a little something else for you, the yes. little billboard picture. And then this one is for you, Kenya. And Lisa, I'm sorry I can't be there today, because you know you're my girl. Oh. All right. um, you don't have to take photos of because I got my two sweethearts right here. But you're always my lady, and any time I can come over there and give you some sugar, you let me know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be taking him up on that. Did you get enough of that to go around? Sweetie pie, that was so much fun. How are you ladies doing? We're fabulous. Oh, wonderful. You're fine? This is wonderful. Look at them, they're so content. Josh, you doing all right? I'm doing fine, man. We've got a lot more fantasies that we want to share with you coming up. Uh, these women get to meet General Hospital's latest hunk, Matthew Ashford, and they're going to be so surprised. But uh, I'll, I'll just let Matthew tell you what he's got planned. Matthew, what have you got planned?
<laughs> Don't you worry, we are gonna tell you. You just sit there and let them scream for you for a little while. When we come back, all my children's Walt Willie has got something in store for the fan who sent us the milk carton, remember? We'll do it all next, so hang tight, everybody. Be right back. Did you plan a vacation only to find out that you'd been ripped off? Well, if so, we'd like to help you blow the whistle on any deceptive travel arrangements or locations that might have spoiled the fun for you. Give us a call or fax us. We'd like to help you tell your story. Hang in there, you know, keep watching, and um, we'll give you some more exciting stuff. I absolutely appreciate your support after 14 years, and, um, you know, they've basically watched me grow up from this high, and um, I hope to stay on the show for a long time, and I can't thank you enough. To appreciate the fans and a lot of fans here today, big time fans of daytime dramas, including Karen, who sent us the milk carton saying that she was a soapaholic. This was very creative. <laughs> now, y you live for the soaps. Yes. But one in particular. All my children. And one person in particular. <laughs> Walt <laughs> Willie. A lot of people are, are, are really very attracted to Walt Willie. Oh. <laughs> yes, tell us why you are. Oh, he's everybody's dream. He's perfect. <laughs> Perfect in every way. Every way. Every is it his way. acting or the way he looks? What is it? Oh, I think it's all of it. I just wish I was there. One of those actresses just to kiss him. Just to kiss him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish we could have him here for you to kiss too, but um, he, he couldn't make it today because he's working because he's actually, they're actually filming more scenes today. But he did want to phone in, and I hope we've got him on the line. Do we have the connection with Walt Willie? Hi. Hi. Um, how, how are you? Hey, thanks for calling in. Karen, sorry she didn't get to meet you, but it's nice of you to make a call. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. But Karen, I was, um, I was sitting at my breakfast table this morning having some breakfast, and I noticed this milk carton, and there was a, a picture of you and a phone number. I thought I'd call it, and they, they directed me then to this phone number. So I just thought I'd call and say hello, and thank you very much for your kind words. Oh, you're welcome. You're great. <laughs> this is your man on the phone. Come on, it's your chance to talk to him. My one, my one question is, why are all these women so stupid to leave you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you ought to ask my first two wives in real life that. <laughs> hey, Walt, did you know that Karen um, actually collects, as a lot of soap fans do, uh, memorabilia and pictures, and she had, you had the big... The, the book, the 25th, the, the 25th anniversary. anniversary book. I waited online an hour to have you sign it, and then when I got up to your line, I handed it to my daughter and I hid behind the books. <laughs> so she had to do it for, for me. But um, it was stolen out of my house when they took my VCR, so it's probably from somebody that knew I watched soaps. That they is took my really VCR, heartbreaking. So I can't tape them. <laughs> oh, I'm to get that to stolen that. is really too bad. You hey, somebody, it, yeah. you ought to get it back. I think yeah. we ought to arrange to get you another one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it did. Yes, it did very much. I, uh, oh, you're so cute. Uh, don't ever hide behind the books again, you okay. hear me? Okay. Um, was that at the book signing when we mm -hmm. did the home? Oh, okay. Would you I recognize promise. her as a soapaholic anywhere? Does she have those telltale no, signs? No, because soapaholics look like anybody. They look like everybody. I mean, they, there's, no, uh, there's no real look to it. You, you walk into a uh, professional sports locker room where these guys are six foot nine and 320 pounds. If you walk in there at noon, into the Chicago Bears locker room and go to change that station. That's it. They're you know, gonna they're, get they're you. Gonna well, you gave her the book. We'll give yes, you the milk carton. Oh, love yes, commemorating yes, her. Very good. You guys <laughs> chat for a while while we go to break it up next. These General Hospital fans have no idea that we are gonna surprise them with an audience question from their favorite soap hunk, Matthew Ashford, who is very innocently out there in our audience. He plays Tom Hardy on General Hospital. We're gonna put him to the test next. We'll be right back. We'd like to try and make your adventure fantasy come true. 
So give us a call or fax us. Tell us what your fantasy adventure is. It could be anything from racing a car to lying on a beach. We'll see what we can do to make it happen for you. Your fantasy comes true. They provide service with a smile, but they're really thinking. You want your mother to see the way that you've been acting in this restaurant? Pet peeves, next Lisa. We've got some fans of General Hospital on the stage today. Welcome, ladies. Nice to have you here. Cheryl and Jules, uh, big time fans of GH, and one person in particular. Matthew, God gift, God's gift to me, Ashford. He's beautiful. <laughs> He's, he's beautiful. beautiful, right? Yeah. He's incredible. Beautiful. He's, he's so talented. talented. Yep. He's. Isn't he? I mean, come on. He's. He's phenomenal. Yeah. He's a great actor, and he's drop dead gorgeous. Well, see, you might want to talk to him about becoming his publicist. See, you now that you can go on and on about him. Yeah. We're we'll going to talk to him in a minute. I need to take some audience questions. Are there questions from out out here in the uh, in the stage? Okay, hang tight. I'll be right back to you. Yes, sir. I was wondering if if you guys were going to talk to him. What would you say, you know? Or would you just kind of like laugh? Or just act like, oh, okay. Get yourself down here. Tom Hardy from General Hospital, Matthew Ashford. Oh, Mr. God's gift himself. Well, He was sitting out there. What are you checking out, his buns? He looks so good in jeans. Oh, my God. Well, thank you. <laughs> Put That's those perfect buns down. Well. That's great. He was out there the whole I'm, time. I thought you didn't see him. Oh, God. Oh, that's oh. all right. Yeah. Hi. You guys look great. Hi. You did the you job. Uh, your check's you. in the mail. Thanks, uh, yeah. There you go. That's right. Okay, you got him for a few more seconds here while we tell you that we're going to have those results of Lisa's Carrie makeover when we come back. Remember, Christy Clark, the real Carrie, is getting ready to come out. She's going to surprise Lisa by actually doing the final touch-ups herself. We'll be right back. Stay with us, everybody. If you'd like to be our studio guest while...